Freedom. That's the level of artistic skill that every artist desires. The ability to form complex figures and faces seemingly out of nothingness. And that's exactly what Outer Moon is capable of doing. After watching him complete drawings of this quality in unbelievable times, I set out on a journey to uncover how does he do it? What does he do differently? And I think I found his secrets. After analyzing and studying many of Adam Moon's videos, I've broken his workflow into three distinct stages of drawing. And some of the things he did were really surprising to me. Firstly, he lays down a really, really rough sketch. Like, sometimes it really feels like he's just randomly scribbling. And this ties in with a technique that I'll discuss later in the video. But the important part of this stage is just making a rough outline of the overall composition of the piece. And then, the thing that separates Adam Moon's process from many other artists is that he then smudges the sketch. Similar to how traditional artists would use charcoal. This provides a very rudimentary shading for the face, and provides a base for him to work on in stage 2. In this stage, Adam Moon builds on top of his base sketch by making more refined strokes and actually mapping out in detail the features of the face. It's clear that he is paying closer attention to his brush strokes. Everything looks good, but then he smudges everything, to the point of essentially erasing everything. And this is one of the defining aspects of Adam Moon's workflow. Instead of the typical drawing workflow where you have a sketch layer and then you make refinements on top of that, followed by turning the sketch layer off, what Adam Moon does is that he blends the sketch layer with the, the final drawing. This really builds the sketch into the drawing and this provides a softness that is a key part of Adam Moon's drawings. Learning how to draw like this especially for the intermediate stage, can greatly help you when you paint. You can see that lots of artists also draw this type of intermediate stage, because it can really help you in the next stage. Now, this is where Adam Moon actually starts developing the final result of the drawing, building on top of all his previous iterations and making refinements where needed. Despite that, you can see that Adam Moon still constantly utilizes the smudge tool, except this time in a more controlled way in order to provide shading and dimension to the face. And then for the rest of the drawing, he essentially repeats the same process again and again, even for less important areas such as the clothes. In this stage, he paints with a sharper and more precise brush in order to fully capture the details. And this is the 1, 2, 3 process behind Adam Moon's sketches. He first lays down a really, really rough form and then builds clarity with another sketch on top of that. And then builds clarity again with another sketch on top of that. All while constantly utilizing the smudge tool, not being afraid of messing things up. At this point, you might be asking yourself, isn't this just making things more complicated? Well, the advantages of this workflow ties into the other lessons in this video. Just learning this three-stage process isn't enough. There's a lot more to his workflow than just that. There's an important mindset shift that you have to apply if you want to truly adopt this workflow. If you watch Adam Moon draw, you can see that it almost feels like he's sculpting as opposed to drawing. A sculptor builds form by working from something really rough and is slowly giving it form. Meanwhile, I think a lot of artists approach drawing as a simple two-stage process of a sketch followed by line art. But we can also think of drawing instead as a spectrum of continuously building and iterating. Like I discussed earlier, Adam Moon's process often involves him making a really, really rough form and then continuously building on top of that not being afraid of smudging things around or painting parts, just to erase them two seconds later. And I think this is one of the secrets behind how Adam Moon is able to draw so freely and a lesson that all of us can apply to our own artworks. Since he knows that he is going to be drawing and building more on top of this sketch, he isn't trying to make it perfect. He doesn't care. And that's what gives drawing the freedom that I think all of us desires. 
But what actually allows Adamun to draw so incredibly fast? Especially considering the fact that his drawing workflow requires three different stages of sketching. Before we get to Adamin's technique, we first have to learn some important fundamentals of art, which we can learn from today's sponsor, Skillshare. I'm sure you've already heard of Skillshare by now, but I'll show you a hidden gem on there. Firstly, for those who don't know, Skillshare is a huge online learning platform filled with countless classes about everything from digital art to productivity to starting your own business and much more. And there's this fantastic course by Ethan Nguyen that teaches the fundamentals of drawing with a focus on how to draw more accurately, which is exactly what we need if we want to draw faster. And there's truly countless excellent art classes on Skillshare, all of which are very high quality and taught by leading creative professionals. And guess what? The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month of free trial of Skillshare. So why not give it a try? If you watch Adam Moon's sketch for any amount of time, you can see that he does a lot of back and forth movements. And this is crucial. If you want to draw faster, then you gotta move fast. Sounds simple, but the key technique here is the precision with which you move. The pivotal mindset shift to draw more like Adam Moon is to think of drawing as almost like a dance. We are going back and forth in smooth, elegant motions with a level of precision and decisiveness behind our strokes. And you might be thinking, that sounds good and all, but it sounds impossible for me to do. But what if I told you it's not as hard as it sounds? And I'll explain why. If you've ever danced or learned how to play an instrument before, then you'll know that to learn a dance or to play a piece, you have to learn the movements slowly at first. And then as you get more familiar with the movements, only then will you be able to move fast and with freedom. We can think of the movements in art in the exact same way. So to paint with the same motion as Adam Moon, we first have to learn some simple motions and master these. One important movement that every artist should master is the ability to paint using your whole arm instead of just using your wrist. It may feel weird and uncomfortable at first, but you'll quickly see that you will have much more control and precision behind your movements. And painting using your whole arm is something that basically every professional artist will recommend. The key point here is to pay special attention to each of your strokes and movements thinking carefully about what the result of your stroke will be before you actually make it. You'll be able to quickly see the improvement in the precision behind your strokes. This may feel quite slow at first, but just like dancing or playing an instrument, once we've mastered these movements, we'll soon be on our way to drawing fast and elegantly. And so, these are the three principles behind Adam Moon's drawing process. And these are elements that all of us can replicate into our own artworks. And once you've mastered these three principles, you'll quickly be on your way to experiencing true artistic freedom.